hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'll be showing you how to make this beautiful crop top that i'm putting on here if this is something you're interested in please keep on watching and if you are yet to subscribe please hit the subscribe button turn your notification bell to get notified when i upload a new video if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for stopping by let us get into the video welcome back so for this video i'll be making use of this fabric this is a chiffon fabric a flower chiffon fabric you can use any fabric of your choice i have one and a half yard of fabric so let's get into the video so for this i have already folded my fabric into two you can see so i folded it into two and i'll be using that edge part that is the part that is folded that's where we'll be starting with and the total length of this fabric the width of this fabric is 19 inches and i'll be using the whole 19 inches and the length is 22 inches as you can see so you can make yours longer or shorter depends on what you want so this is the other piece i have same piece this is the front piece the front piece is longer than the back piece i'll tell you why so now the next thing i'll do now is to create my neckline so for the neckline i took three inches for the width and 1.5 inches for the depth after creating my neckline i'll just go ahead and use my free hand to curve the neckline and this is what i have i hope you can see it guys so my fold, my neckline is on that folded side, guys. The part where that is folded. I will cut out this neckline. After cutting it out like this, I'll just go ahead and hold it down with a pin, because this fabric is very not stretchy. It is it's it's hard, difficult to work with. So I'll come to this side and on this part here, I came down by 1.5 inch for my shoulder slope. So you connect it to your neck width. So I'll first of all use my, my ruler to do that. So I'll just go ahead and use my hand to do this. Because this fabric is, wow. Fabric is difficult to work with on your skin. So after doing that, just go ahead and cut out your shoulder slope as well. So after cutting it, this is what it is looking like. So now I'll go ahead now and just pin this dress down before taking it off from the table so i'll pin it down just to keep it in place so now this i'm done pinning it down and you can see what we have so we'll bring the front piece that we'll be working with so this is the front piece and i'm trying to arrange it and fold it well so you can see what we have so i'll place the back piece on the front piece now this open part of the back front piece the open part that's where the edge of the front back piece will be so the open back part you can see so the folded part of my back piece is on that open part part of the front piece i hope you understand and i'll go ahead now and just make sure that they are equal make sure that they are equal so you won't have one longer than the other and after make sure they are equal i'll pin them down so you can see what i did here the open back of my front piece that's where the the folded edge of the back piece is so what i'll do now is to check what i have and i have four inches so the distance between the front and the back is four inches and i went ahead to just cut out the front neckline and then trace out the front slope as well after doing that the next thing we'll do is to create the front neckline so from this tip here i came down by seven inches this depends on how much cleavage you want to show 
so you can come lower than that so from that um seven inches so you can see that i marked it on the back piece so you can see that i marked the neckline on the back piece so i'll just connect it from that seven inches i'll connect it down words like so into the front just watch what i am doing guys so just go ahead and connect it into the front like this the way you see me doing so i'll just take it up like so so i'll go ahead and cut it and i'll show you how i am cutting it so you can see what i am doing so now i'm going to push the back piece inwards and continue cutting it to the tip that is to our neckline that three inches we took for the neck width so i'll go ahead and just cut it straight please guys do not curve this just trace it straight and cut it out so this is what it is looking like after i was done um i hope you can see it so the next thing we'll be doing now is to create our sleeve so for me i came down by nine inches so this depends on how you want your sleeve to be i came down by nine inches and on the bottom part of this top i came in by three inches like this three inches and i'll connect it to that nine inches that i took in a curved way like so i hope you can see this guys so after doing this now i'll go ahead and cut it out so guys this is our top and this is what it is looking like so i just trimmed it off to make it equal so this is what we have this is the front piece which is divided into two parts and this is what it is looking like so sorry guys uh, i know you can't see it very well and this is the back piece unfold so this is the back piece and this is what it's also looking like so now i'll go ahead and bring the front piece right side facing right side just ensure you arrange it well and i'll stitch it on the shoulder i'll repeat the same thing for this other side this is right side facing right side and then i'll go ahead and stitch it on the shoulder using half of an inch so i'll go ahead now and just stitch it here and here so this is what i have after i was done stitching both of them i hope you can see this now you can see the lines so what go ahead now place this on my table and i'll arrange it so now what i'll do is to measure the front this front i'll measure what i have from one end to the other the way you see me doing because we'll be covering it with a strap so after measuring it i had 60 inches close to 60 inches and this is the band that i cut out this band is four inches long for the width is four inches and the length it is very long so i just cut out a band around the top the front piece i hope you understand and i went ahead to iron that band after cutting it four inches i folded it so i ironed it i hope you understand so now i'll place the band on this top like this so i'm just cutting it to make it equal so after doing that i'll go ahead and pin this to the top round so i'll just pin it round so this band is already ironed guys please ensure you iron your band before placing it on your on your dress or on your top this makes your work neat and easier to work with so this is what we have so now go ahead and stitch it round so this is what it is looking like and this is what it should look like so i go ahead and stitch it round using i'll just go ahead and stitch it around and then i'll come to the sleeve area and repeat the same thing for the sleeve i'll open it up like this and this is also another band that i have folded and ironed i have ironed it's also four inches and i have ironed it i'll just pin it together and i'll go ahead and stitch it so after stitching it it will look like this you see so it will be looking neat. 
So I'll go ahead and do all of that. And guys, this is what I have after I was done. That is the sleeve. You can see how neat it is looking. So what I'm trying to do now is to arrange the top very well. You can see me pinning it down. I'm just arranging it, making sure that they are equal so that it will be easier for me to cut out any excess that I have on the top. So go ahead and arrange yours. So after arranging it, place your top like this. You can see me putting one inside and I use the other one to wrap on it like this. So just like a wrap top. So you can see me placing this one inside and use the other one to wrap on it. So you pick just the front piece. Just the front piece and pin it down. Do not extend it to the back. So I would pin the um other side i'll just hold this firm so you can see the back piece i am not attaching it to the front so i'll go ahead now and just stitch it down this is what we have after i was done stitching it down you can see what we have now it is together so I'll go ahead and just trim off this excess that we have here. So after doing that, I'll go ahead now and turn it to the, to the wrong side. So just take your time and turn it to the wrong side of the top. Do you see me doing? So I'm, we are turning it to the wrong um, side because we are about to stitch the sides of our top you know we are we are yet to stitch the side so when you turn it ensure that they are equal and then you want to go to your machine and stitch down the sides so i'm just pinning it down to keep it in place after which i'll go and stitch it down like this and i'll repeat the same thing for the other side as well so this is what i have after i was done stitching it down it is already beautiful. The next thing is to fold the edge. So because we'll be passing an elastic, ensure that you leave a small hole when you are when you are stitching on it. So this is what we have after hemming the bottom part. And you can see that I left a hole here. You can see my hand is going through. So that is where I'll be passing an elastic from so from that hole. So this is the elastic I'm working with. I just went ahead to cut out 20 inches for this top because I don't want it to be tightening me since it is an elastic. So I just use 20 inches. So after cutting it, I'll use my pin, secure the, the band and then I'll put it inside the top. So take your time. So after doing this now, I'll just bring out the two band. And I'll go to my machine and secure it. I'll just go ahead, place it together like this, and then I'll stitch on the band. After stitching on the band, I'll close up that space that I left opened. So, this is what I have after I was done fixing and closing up the band area. This is how beautiful our top is can see what we have so guys thank you so much for watching if you find this video helpful do not forget to subscribe don't forget to give this video a thumbs up on your notification bell to get notified when i upload a new video till i see you in my next one guys bye for now